Okay, so today we are looking at Bodhi Linux. Now Bodhi Linux is an Ubuntu-based distribution that is based on the 10.04 long-term support release and it is Enlightenment uh, E17. So basically this is uh, a very recent distribution in that it's only been around for less than a year, uh, at least uh, in, a, in a fully released version. And, uh, and it is quite an interesting distribution. It's incredibly lightweight and minimalist, and honestly that's the point of this distribution, is to be both lightweight, uh, functional, very fancy, but be very minimalist. So to start off with, uh, the basic system is only meant to be used as a core. That you really don't get much on the basic install. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about this distribution like any other distribution, but I am going to be throwing in points about E17 because there aren't that many Enlightenment E17 distributions out there. And uh, so Bodhi Linux is really becoming a popular one, but there have been other ones out there in the past. Uh, PC Linux OS comes to mind, which I have done a video on before if you click on the annotation here. But I've noticed that Bodhi Linux has been gaining quite a community behind it, and for good reason. They have provided uh, quite uh, a gentle introduction to what E17 has to offer, and they really provide some helpful pointers on how to get started, how to get going, and do all the things that you'd like to do. Uh, now, the first thing about Bodhi Linux is that the menu can be accessed from anywhere. So your main navigation of this system is going to be done through the uh, through the menu system, which you can just click anywhere on the desktop, and it will be uh, it'll be there for you. Now, one thing that you're going to notice straight away is that E17 is very flashy. There, uh, you can configure it to have multiple uh, desktop effects, especially when you're uh, switching between. Uh, even when you're switching between uh, windows, you can see here I've got Synaptic open and, uh, and I'll open up the web browser as well. Even when you change between windows, the windows bounce. And I mean, for some people, uh, this is just the profile I'm using and I'm going to talk more about profiles in a minute. But at the moment, uh, the, way I've, the way it's been set up uh, in, as the fancy profile, you do have some pretty fancy effects there. And the interesting thing is they don't really cost your system any resources whatsoever. As I said before, Bodhi Linux is a base and you're going to be doing most of your navigating through these menus. However, they do have like a gnome do type utility already built into the system, which is quite handy. Uh, the keyboard shortcut Alt Escape brings up a little application launcher known as Run Everything. Now it does sound a bit confusing, but basically what you do is all your recent, uh, your recent, uh, the most recent application that you've launched appears, and it will also show uh, what windows you have running. So basically you can come in here and type anything. So I'm going to type Midori, and you can see it opens up uh, the application Midori, and uh, and you can uh, launch it. It's much like Gnome Do or any other app launcher in that sense, but it's very, very handy to have on a quick keyboard shortcut. And honestly, I think this is the way I'd launch most of the applications if I was running E17 full time. Uh, now, the other thing about Enlightenment, as, uh, as we've discussed before, is the themes. Now, Enlightenment is famous for its themes, and, uh, and for good reason. They provide some really nice looking stuff. Um, and not only can you just use the ones that you get pre-installed, which is a pretty decent selection. You've got a dark one, a light one, uh, sort of a grey one, and we've got a nice uh, dark blue and an ambience theme as well, an ambient. Uh, these are all very nice themes, and the artwork with E17 is very nice indeed. Uh, but here on the, uh, on the Bodhi website, uh, which, by the way, I'm going to talk about more in a minute, but we have a whole bunch more themes that you can download and use, uh, to your heart's content. They really cater for every single look and feel you could possibly want and uh, and that is just the E17 theme, so how it looks uh, in all the widgets and uh, and all the fun stuff that you that uh, that E17 has to offer. Now as far as actual application appearance goes you go under preferences and you can see LX appearance and that is basically what you're going to use to customize your GTK look and feel. So you can see here that anytime you select a different theme uh, these are the different GTK widget sets, and uh, honestly, they include a nice amount of uh, of GTK sets in here as well. That uh, you've got a lot to choose from, so really, you can make this distribution look however you like. Uh, except you probably won't want to make it look like Windows 95. So let's choose something else. You've got both the basic GNOME icon set and a Remix icon set, which is what the default is. You can, of course, download other icon sets when you download those different themes. 
So for the moment I'll leave that as default and I'll leave this theme how it is. But there are multiple themes to choose from and uh, if you ever get bored you can uh, even download all of those themes at the same time by simply clicking this install now button and that will automatically download and install those all those different themes. Now this is where I want to talk about the Bodhi Linux website. The uh, for, for starters they have a very nice uh, quick, starter, quick starter guide and basically you can come in here and have a look at how to run uh, what the big idea is behind Bodhi Linux and in multiple different languages we've got quite a few translations up here as well but just getting started so connecting to the internet installing software E17 basics run everything why Midori extras and resources so this is a lot of helpful information for the new user and uh, honestly this is a very nice introduction to to the system and I think more distributions need this quick start guide uh, so under E17 Basics you can run through what makes E17 unique and there are many good things about E17 but I can't discuss all of them here just for the sake of time. So if you want to check that out when you run this system I definitely recommend it as you will get a good idea of what E17 is about. Uh, now the second thing I want to talk about is the, uh, is the, the way they handle application installs. Now you can of course do it through Synaptic and you can even install the Ubuntu Software Center if you want to. But more impressive in my mind is the fact that you can use uh, the Bodhi Linux web page as a way to install software. So it's a very uh, it's very convenient in that it's very much like the Windows uh, scene where you just go to a website, download something and run it. But in this situation all you have to do is look for these different categories. So let's say I wanted to find an email client. I come in here, they've sorted out the best email clients that are available for the system, Thunderbird Evolution and Clause Mail, and you can just click one of those and it will tell you more about the application and it gives you, uh, it gives you an option to download it. Honestly this is a fantastic uh, way to handle applications and not only can you install now which uh, which does a simple apt command as you can see down the bottom of the browser you can also download that package and simply right click and save it as a .bod and basically this is like the .exe equivalent on the Windows side of things so this is a uh, this is a really interesting innovation and I really give them major props for choosing the best applications uh, for the uh, for the Bodhi Linux desktop and really giving people a really uh, categorized choice uh, with uh, in regards to the best Linux applications. So they've done an excellent job here and uh, it's definitely worth checking out and I wish uh, more more distributions could handle applications in this in this way. Not only that you do have meta packages available and that is basically you can download a, uh, a full featured software selection as you can see here. It will download all of these programs for you straight onto your system as soon as you've uh, installed it so I can just click on install now and it will download and install all of these programs so I have a fully functional system and uh, not only that but you can also download all those separate packages as uh, as BOD as a BOD meta package this is extremely convenient especially if you don't have a computer that is online you can download this on another on another computer using another uh, operating system altogether download this package, save it to a flash drive, plug it in and install those applications just like you would in Windows. So this is incredibly, uh, this is an incredibly elegant way to handle applications and major props to them for, uh, for providing this as a, way to, uh, as a way to install applications. Now you do have a fully featured uh, set of applications but if you have an older computer they cater for that as well as E17 is typically uh, used for older machines we do have a lighter set of applications here so you can see we, we, we still cover all the basic needs but it keeps it uh, very uh, keeps it very lightweight all of these applications will run quite nicely on older computers so honestly this suits the purpose of Bodhi Linux very very well uh, by default as I said you don't get a whole lot of applications in fact you only get a few accessories like uh, the terminal PC Man FM and Leafpad which is mostly LXDE stuff and of course you get a few configuration tools including an uh, NTFS configuration tool which is uh, thumbs up for that, that's a good idea. Uh, you get the LXDM auto login uh, configuration there as well so that is nice. Uh, internet you just get Midori and the network manager and sound and video I've installed the media player that does not come by default. Now the ins uh, this is based on Ubuntu 10.04 so it is super stable and, uh, and although the packages aren't up to, uh, up to the latest versions in some cases, the ones that are managed through Bodhi Linux, uh, they do keep those up to date uh, uh, to an extent. Now, uh, we also have lots of uh, good documentation 
and uh, and guides to enlightenment on the Bodhi Linux website. So honestly, it's the Bodhi Linux website that sets this distribution apart from from many other E17 distributions like uh, MacPup or PC Linux OS. Uh, they do a very good job of informing the user what they need to do and how they can make this system work. Uh, it is capable of running every single uh, type of application out there. You can run KDE apps, uh, GNOME apps, it doesn't matter. The system is capable of doing it. E17 is just the window manager, just like KDE or, uh, or GNOME or XFCE or any of those. Uh, it does use a lot of LXT components because they are lightweight and easy to use. Uh, so honestly, check this one out if you have an old computer sitting at home. Its resource, its resource usage is minimum at best. Uh, it really does not uh, make the modern system sneeze at all, and for any older systems, uh, this thing should run fine. You have many different profiles that you can use to uh, to set up this uh, to set up the system the way you like it. You can configure different widget sets to go in different places depending on what kind of form factor you're wanting to use this distribution on. They have netbooks and tablet settings. They have laptop settings, desktop, fancy. Uh, which is what I have here, and a few others uh, just that, that have a pre-configured set of widgets that you could choose from. Honestly, I'm very impressed with this distribution. Uh, I'm going to recommend it to some people as, uh, who have an older computer um, because this it really is capable of, uh, of a lot. And, uh, and they, I think the Bodhi Linux team have done a fantastic job of bringing enlightenment down to an accessible level. For a long time, it's been something that, uh, that I've seen and I've seen people using and I've used myself, but it's always been a kind of hard to understand, kind of hard to reach and, uh, and still have those nice applications. Puppy Linux is great and it's still a very light, nice lightweight distribution, but having the popular Ubuntu base uh, on the core is, uh, is very helpful as uh, it's got a much wider uh, program compatibility range. So honestly, thumbs up for the Bodhi Linux team. This is a fantastic distribution and I look forward to seeing what these guys have in the future. Their website is top notch. Their application support is very broad and very well categorized. So definitely worth checking out if you have an old machine and even if you just want to try something new and, uh, and KDE and GNOME uh, are just getting a little bit boring for you. I have more distro reviews and app reviews on the way, however I am going, I am going to be out of town for the next uh, couple of weeks, however I will uh, try to stagger upload uh, videos that I have made. So hopefully the content will keep running, but if not you will know why uh, I will be out of town for the next couple of weeks. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time.